I'd now like to play um, uh, Windy and Warm for you. And uh, this also is one of the first songs that I learned to play. And it, it's, a, it's a traditional piece that uh, a lot of people have recorded. Many folk sort of players play like that. <laughs> treated as more of a folk tune. I, I tend to think of it as more like a, a bluesy tune and so I, I tend not to play it too fast and um, <clears throat> kind of let the melody really sing out so I mute the bass um, to get that boom chick happening underneath and then I poke the melody out with my fingers. As you, um, as you follow this video you'll, you, you'll notice that I pick a lot of the melody out with my second and first and second fingers. Um, I might also say at this stage that um, this style of guitar playing, you, you can use your nails, most people do, um, but I, I unfortunately uh, have very thin nails on the right hand and I have nails of steel on the left hand. I, I don't know what went wrong, uh, I don't know what went wrong up there, but uh, something went a bit skew with, but uh, anyway, so I, I, I've developed these little calluses on the end of my fingers and so that's how I get that tone. It, it's a cross between a pick sound and a, and a nail sound. It's sort of somewhere in, in between. So um, that's how I, I play the sound. and. Um, uh, you can use nails if you want. Um, it's just it's pretty hard on your nails playing steel string guitar. If you if you uh, if you do use nails, it might be good to reinforce them with uh, something like uh, super glue or Araldite or any of the, uh, those other kind of Tarzan brand things. You know, you stick on your nails. Okay, here we go. This is windy and warm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 